All right, so ask yourself, have you ever been too quick to share a piece of misinformation just because it happened to support your preferred version of reality? How many times have you used a geolocation app or social media to engage in some sneaky low-key surveillance? Or have you ever let your feelings of indignation lure you into a hateful digital pylon? Likewise, do you ever find yourself acting like your own thought police? self-censoring your real opinion. Sorry, I lost my place. And how many times each day do you twist your own language to obscure what you really mean? Perhaps by pivoting to low-hanging corporate jargon to deliver more user-friendly optics. That hit me. Oh, that hit me right here. I was like, oh, the amount of times I've had to just pivot to low-hanging corporate jargon to deliver more user-friendly optics. Orwell's 1984 is the ultimate work of fiction about humanity's struggle against repression, censorship, surveillance, and the wholesale warping of truth. All the things that I absolutely love to talk about and focus here so that we don't get ourselves in the trap. I mean, it's one big trap. We're in it. We're just trying to find our way out in increments. Gosh, that was really, really pessimistic, wasn't it? That was awful. That was depressing. All Worlds 1984 is the ultimate work of fiction about humanity's struggle against repression, censorship, surveillance, and the wholesale warping of truth. It has even given us an everyday vocabulary for describing those struggles, from thought crime and Big Brother to Room 101, Double Think, Reality Control, Newspeak, and of course, the adjective Orwellian itself. But there is a moment in the novel when the protagonist, Winston Smith, Winston, um, identifies another struggle, one that often runs deeper than the fight against the story's authoritarian party, the struggle against his own self. Quote, in moments of crisis, one is never fighting against an external enemy, but always against one's own body. This internal struggle is brought vividly to life by actor Andrew Garfield, who plays Winston in a new audio adaptation of the novel from Audible. His inner conflicts, angsts, and self reproach come to the fore when Garfield adds, In moments of fear, you are at war with yourself. Because I think when we're in this space of like trying to think more critically, we're doing that a lot, aren't we? Um, Rather than sort of thinking about how are we sort of complicit? How are we participating in the trap? Or consider the current anxiety over the language we use. Okay, this is a good one. The offence, real or perceived, that words can cause, along with the way our language is often compressed by the limits of social media. Is there a risk that whenever, whether we mean to or not, we may collaborate in the creation of our own new speak? Come on, come on. It's like, imagine, like, you, you know, it's like in every chamber online, people telling you what you can and can't say, or you're doing it to yourself. Okay, the artificial and denuded language with which the agents of Big Brother seek to control the population in 1984. As Winston's colleague, Sim, 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 explains over the clanking and chatter in the staff canteen, don't you see that the whole aim of new speak is to narrow the range of thought? In the end, we shall make thought crime literally impossible because there'll be no words in which to express it. The structures and algorithms that influence us today function at least partly by enlisting our own worst tendencies, our tribalism and confirmation bias, our propensity to favour anecdotes over factual accuracy, our readiness to demonize those who we disagree with, our need for validation, our lazy conformity. The list goes on. This is why 1984 is so much more than a prophetic warning. As well as being predictive of today's dystopian headlines, it's a guide for understanding how they interplay with our own lives. Stefan Stern is the author of Fair or Foul, The Lady Macbeth Guide to Ambition, published in July. So that article and those bars that were just delivered were by Stefan Stern. Again, all the articles are provided. There's more, there's more. This is not it. 